welcome to today's lecture on the digital divide. There are two basic dimensions in the co-evolution between technology and society, between technological change and social change. One refers to progress, so for example technology gets better according to some kind of performance indicator, that's a process that alterates between continuous and disruptive innovations, so you get these different ways of technological change. And the other one refers to the diffusion of the technology through society. So these are two independent standalone processes, but they have interesting trade-offs with each other. For example, in general, you can find that during periods where technology gets better, where it improves, it doesn't really diffuse, it cannot really diffuse, because while you improve technology, especially through disruptive innovation, you don't really have a defined piece of technology. Uh, you're changing it. And you could always continue to improve it and, and change it, because often you run out of money and, and there's no sense of pushing it further. Also, it would be way too advanced for people to to, to be able to, to do something with it. So at one point, it's almost like the industry says, well, well, that's that's good enough. That's cool. Um, let's let's stop it right now here. Let's give this technology a name. Let's brand it and kind of like then diffuse it through society. And that also takes time. Technology then has to spread through society. At one point then, um, once it doesn't spread so much anymore, either you hit a level of saturation, everybody has it, or, or things just get boring, it doesn't, it doesn't sell anymore. And you say again, okay, now let's improve it again. And you put a lot in research and development. So you have this alterating process between progress and diffusion. Today we'll talk about the second one, about the diffusion process, and ask, well, how does this diffusion process actually work? Um, this is the innovation, the diffusion of innovation is a large body of literature, so we'll study it more generically. And then as a second part, we ask particularly about the particularities with regard to the spread of digital innovations. This discussion is usually known as the digital divide, the divide between those who have and have more access to the digital realm and those who have not or have less access. And many people are very worried about the digital divide because it's a new dimension of inequality uh, that now is added on to all the existing dimensions of inequality. We have many different inequalities. We have income inequalities, gender inequalities, differences in education and access to healthcare. And now this new informational inequality plays an ever more important role. And, and, and what's the effect of that? What's the importance of that? It's pretty intangible, but we all know that access to information is so powerful. Information is knowledge and knowledge is power, right? That's what people say. So what is the effect of that some people have so much more access to informational capacities and, 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 and realities than others. And, and how to define actually this digital divide. And that's what we will also talk about. 